Christopher Rokas, actor, director, and owner of Rokas Media Studios. And we're discussing the difference between NTSC and PAL. Okay, first of all, let's break down what these are. NTSC and PAL are standardized video languages, okay? And uh, here in the United States of America, we use NTSC. That is our standardized broadcast language. Now with the onset of HD and digital type technologies uh, in your house or through cable systems, there may be some diff uh, different ones, but if you're gonna buy a VHS or a DVD player, or you're going to broadcast or receive in the US before digital conversion, you're dealing with an NTSC standard. So if your question about this has anything to do with I have the choice to buy something that is NTSC or PAL. If you're in North America or most of South America, with the exception of Brazil and some of the really south parts of the continent, you need NTSC. As I used to, to remember, PAL is not your PAL when it comes to video formats in North America. Now, if you're European, well, NTSC is not your PAL. PAL is what you're all about. Uh, PAL came on, the, came on the scene in the, uh, uh, the early 50s to the early 60s, became its development, and basically, guys, here's the, here's the pith of it. It's very similar to NTSC, except it's just different enough not to work with any of your stuff. Okay, uh, NTSC is the National Television Systems Committee that founded it here in the United States, launched in 1941 um, after the committee formed in 40. Uh, in the mid-50s, Europe was uh, scratching for their own type of format and needing to standardize. We didn't standardize the world, so they came up with their, they came up with their PAL, their PAL format. And most of Europe and now the EU um, uh, adheres to that particular um, particular type of format. And the other major one being CCAM. So NS NTSC, CCAM, and PAL pretty much make up the major world formats. There are some sub-generations of it uh, if, you're in, um, if you're in Japan or other companies, NTSC, J, and things like that. But when it comes right down to where the rubber hits the road, if you're in North America and most of South America except for Brazil, NTSC is your buddy. PAL, if you're over in Europe, don't try to buy them. Stuff won't work crossover. You'll have to have it converted, digitized, and all that type of stuff. Stay with the proper format for your proper country, and everything will be A-OK. -okay. I'm Christopher Rokas. We'll see you on the Internet.